Have you ever heard someone say, it's in my genes, especially when it's to do with a disease? Well, here's my tuppence worth on that statement. Hi, Fee here, the healthy vegan author, helping people to go vegan through my books and encouraging you to stay a healthy vegan. Now, I'm sure that you have heard someone say, my dad died at 58 of a heart attack, I'm getting near that age. Or, uh, I'll probably get high cholesterol because it's in my genes. Or, um, mum got bowel cancer and the doctor said I have a greater chance of getting it too. Or, uh, yeah, diabetes runs in my family. I mean, even my own sibling is on medication for the standard high blood pressure and cholesterol. Or, old people ailments, his words... Um, he says he's just like Dad, it's the drugs that keeps him alive. Well, I'm kind of here to say that for the majority of people, it's in the genes is a myth. These diseases like heart disease, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, um, most cancers, diabetes, and most of the modern day diseases don't run in the family it runs in the tradition of what you eat. We are brought up to eat animal products, meat, cheese, dairy, sausages, bacon, eggs. These are the norm. And this is what your parents ate, and even probably your grandparents. But definitely since the end of the 1940s, when animal foods started to become a lot more available. Yeah, it's... You know, so did sugar, but I'm not discussing the harm of sugar. What I'm trying to say is that there is overwhelming scientific evidence that following what you've traditionally eaten will likely mean you'll follow the same health of those before you. However, if you make changes and follow a healthy plant-based diet, you will reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease by 40%. Coronary heart disease risk is reduced also by 40%. Blocked arteries are unblocked, either partially or fully, in as many as 90% of people who make the change. Um, hypertension risk drops by 34% and total cholesterol and low density lipoprotein or bad cholesterol levels are much lower. Of course, you know, the bonus is that a plant-based diet is also associated with weight loss. As for type 2 diabetes, studies from clinical trials reveal that plant-based diets improves insulin resistance compared with conventional diets that di diabetics are usually put on. Now, I'm going to leave a link below for more on this subject. Okay, so the next time someone says, it's in my genes, you could respond by saying, actually, it's probably in your fridge meaning they should look at what they're putting into their mouth. Tradition can be, you know, quite the stumbling block when it comes to change. And that's change for anything, not just food. And the older we get, the more difficult it is to make a change, the more ingrained our habits become, and sometimes we're our own worst enemy. But going plant-based can be just a matter of putting small changes into the foods we're eating, like adding berries every day, or replacing a meat meal to one with legumes instead. Think like Mexican bean tacos, or Chinese vegetable stir-fry and rice. Make it brown rice, by the way. Just know that the chances your personal health is down to your genes is to statistically really incredibly low. Well, sadly, most doctors don't know that. And now it's time for the wee bonus fact. Now tell me something, do you like pistachios? I personally love them, especially sucking on the shells which I find are quite salty. Anywho, 
here's some facts about the, these glorious nuts. Pistachios contribute to a person's daily protein needs at almost 6 grams of protein per 1 ounce serving. Iran is the largest producer of pistachios in the world. Humans have eaten pistachio nuts for at least 9,000 years. They are a member of the cashew family. And archaeology shows that pistachio seeds were a common food as early as 6750 BC. They are nutrient dense with 30 different vitamins, minerals, and photonutrients. 50 nuts have 160 calories, plus those 6 grams of protein I mentioned, which is about the same as an egg. Don't have the cholesterol though, and I'd rather eat the nuts anyway. And best of all, pistachios provide fiber and protein to help keep you fuller longer. What's more, they're one of the lowest fat, lowest calorie, and high highest protein tree nuts around. And actually, they're a seed, not a nut. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got something from this video, please share, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, clicking that notification bell so you don't miss the next one. Remember, have great food, make it whole plant-based, and be compassionate to all animals, including humans and especially those who still think it's in my genes. Bye for now.